Most people know that Menden has a rich history. In 1992, we celebrated 325 years as a town. But as much as we all know about our community, more can be learned. And the best place to start is with a visit to the small but interesting Historical Society Museum on Main Street. This view of the Menden Historical Museum is from across the street in front of the old Amadon Tavern. This view is similar to one in a painting which hangs inside the museum, which was painted by a 14-year-old girl in 1825 when the building was built. The museum sits at one end of Founders Park, sacred ground. At the intersection of Route 16, Main Street, and North Avenue sits a monument dedicated to the founders of Menden. Next to the monument is the Old Child's House and the First Baptist Church. The building was built in 1825 and used as a bank, the only one between Worcester and Providence. It was built on land originally owned by Joseph White, one of the first settlers. Bricks used in the construction may have come from the Arnold Taft Brickyard in Albeville. The bank was short-lived and closed in 1831. The building was then used for several years as a law office by Charles C.P. Hastings. It then became a private school and in later years was used as a private dwelling. In 1872, the building was purchased by the town for $475 for the safekeeping of records. From 1881 to 1920, the building was occupied by the Taft Public Library. Early in 1921, the Menden Historical Society secured the building and after undergoing repairs, the museum was arranged and opened in October of 1921. When entering the museum, visitors may view to the right of the entrance a corn grinding stone. The stone was moved from Wigwam Hill near the fire tower to the museum grounds. There's also an old farm tool known as a reaper's cradle. This was donated by Leonard Rogers on behalf of the Menden Grange. This is a photograph of the Historical Society members in 1903 at a memorial program held in the Union Chapel, which is now the Taft Public Library. At the podium, is Marcus Aldridge, the president of the society at that time. You may recognize the chandelier, which later was electrified and is still in use in the Taft Public Library today. And now to take us on the rest of our tour of the Historical Museum and their interesting exhibits, here's the curator of the Menden Historical Society, Alice Pickering Palladini. And we're looking at the painting that was painted by Fra Francis J. Green, whose parents owned the Amadon Tavern in 1825. And when she painted this picture, uh, as you can see, the child's house, as I'm looking at it now, would be on the left. The museum is in the middle. And there was a house on Founders Park back in 1825. Okay. This is also a painting that was done by the little green girl at 14 years old of the records room. And it, this also was painted in 1825 when our museum was a bank, became a bank. The first meeting of the Menden Historical Society was held in February 
1896, but the charter was secured in November 1909. For many years, since 1909, the charter was stored in the president's of the society's house or rather the offices of the society. In 1993, it was suggested that perhaps this charter should stay in the museum. And with, through the generosity of Myla Thayer, she, the charter was framed and it now is, has a permanent home in the museum. The charter, one picture is frame is the charter and the other we have signatures of all the first members of the society uh, behind in an envelope we have the original signatures of the members of the society at that time in 1909 this is a slant top desk and it was bequeathed to the Mendon Historical Society in 1988 uh, by Marion Taff of Willamette, Connecticut. The desk was from the farm of Caleb Southwest Taff at Chestnut Hill, now Millville, once Mendon. It was bequeathed to his great grand, in his great granddaughter's will, Marion Taff. Other items were willed to the society, but were auctioned off before the death of Mrs. Taft. This dress was worn by Florence J. Aldrich of Menden at her graduation from the Menden High School class of 1907. The dress was designed by Florence Bennett of Menden, which were the Aldrich's neighbors at that time. Okay. Now we're looking at a display case that has many items. And on the top here, we are looking at bonnets. Uh, and one of the, um, to your right is a bonnet that the ladies used to wear to, as a nightcap to go to bed. On your left is a little lace bonnet that they wore during the day to do their housework in. The ones in the back are, bon are the sun bonnets that they wore when they were going out. And a, on, we also have collars and cuffs that the ladies would put on to their dresses to dress up their dresses because this was the big thing in those days was the collars and the cuffs that the ladies put on to their dresses. In the cases, many, we have many different items. We have um, little girls' dresses and shoes. We have ladies' kids' gloves and glove stretchers. We have combs they had in their hair and their little purses. And we have uh, silver mugs and nap silver napkin um, holders. And we have fans. We have many fans that the ladies used to use in back in the 1800s. Now we're looking at various samplers made by different children, uh, little girls, back in the 18th. Oh, yeah. Back in the 18th and 19th century, this these samplers of this kind were a very important part of a little girl's growing up. Morning Memorial, a white and gold frame. It was embroidered in silks depicting Weeping Willow Tree and Monument. It was wrought by Lucinda Nelson in 1801 when she was then 12 years old. Such memorials were customary in the 18th and 19th century with tree done to represent the visual symbol of weeping, hence the weeping willow motif. Young women learned to make these embroideries in the female seminaries of that time. Samuel and Mary Warren, the aunt and uncle of Lucinda, are buried in the old cemetery in Menden. Mm. 
This sewing machine is a patent made in the 1850s and it was donated by Mrs. Percy Picard, Beatrice Taft. Uh, it was the first sewing machine that was in Menden, by, owned by a Menden family. And now over here on the shelf, we have scrapbooks that have been compiled in the past year of all the homes and people and various places in Menden, like Nipmunk, uh, Nipmunk, Nipmunk Park and various events. And above it, we have a lot of school uh, artifacts. We have paper pulp money, I mean paper pulp uh, pencil sharpeners. We have photograph albums that have been donated through the years by Menden people. Have a lot of photographs of people. Mm. Ada Lucinda Jennison. She was the daughter of Amy Taff and George Jennison, and she went to high school in the Menden Town Hall. She married Arthur Whitney of Bellingham, a school teacher. And she was the mother of Mrs. Rich, Richard Harding, the uh, formerly Hazel Whitney. It's green silk plaid, taffeta, and it's trimmed with lace. Now we have a flax wheel here that was donated by Anna Cohen. Now we have a wooden cradle that belonged to a Mrs. Hanson. This is an antique cradle and it's handmade. In the cradle we have a doll that I we don't have any history on, but we have a little family there uh, of a standing doll, a lot that's in an embroidered dress from a Potman collection. And uh, mo these three, then we have Daphne that's dressed and these, if she is dressed in clothes from a, what we call a Potman collection from the Parkman family. Uh, up over the fireplace, we have uh, a uh, blueprint of the 1831 map, and we have commemorative plates of Milford and Menden and uh, Norton, Mass, and other places. On the shelf of the fireplace, we have a, the 24X 20 mule team, a model of it. Uh, the, this team visited Menden in, in the, about 1920, and one of our members, Mr. Leonard Rogers, was 18 years old, and he's now up in his 90s, and he remembers this team when it came to Menden, and the horses were s kept across the street. They had the Taft stables across the street that the horses were kept, and the wagons were kept up behind the country store here in Menden, behind Clough School, and there was three wagons that came to Menden. Two were show wagons, and one was a supply wagon. And Mr. Rogers comes into the museum and tells the story of how these horses made the corner going around North Avenue, which is a very interesting item that we have here in the museum. Below, we have an original plaster plaque done in bronze of the first meeting house that was built on Founders Park by the founders of Menden. Here we have a large bookcase that has holds many reference books that people come in and research and look at. And above this bookcase we have quilts, we have a can uh, Candlewick bedspread, we have um, uh, crazy quilt patterns, patchwork pattern, evening star and black patterns. These are all donated by various Menden people. Oh, and to the left we have a Southwick, from Southwick Animal Farm here in Menden is a cloak worn by someone back in the 
late 1800s, uh, and it is a, there's a wedding dress of Clarice Southwick's grandmother. This collection of arrowheads was found on the R&C Cook Farm here in Menden, near Whiting's Mill, the old shoddy mill off Hartford Avenue. Uh, they were donated in 1913 to the society, and in 1951 they were arranged and mounted. Here we have a whole military display. We have an honor roll from the first World War veterans of Menden. On top of the case, we have two Civil War flags. They were both originally used in the Civil War. They are authentic. One was used on a ship that a cannonball went through the flag, and the other one was carried in the back, one of the battles of the Civil War. In it, the, in that, the one on the right is all handmade, hand embroidered styles. And in the case, we have uh, rifles used in the Civil War. We have original Civil War boots, and we have the canteens. We have many Civil War artifacts. Uh, Here we have two bicentennial quilts. We have one made for the 300th anniversary of Menden, made by the ladies of Menden. And then we have one made by the 4-H Club that was presented for the 325th anniversary, was presented to us in 1992. This is a collection of over a thousand pictures that was bequeathed to the Menden Historical Society in 1921 by Kate Chapin, and the oldest school teacher in Milford at that time. The collection was, it was stated in her will that if the Menden Historical Society would have to have a place to display these pictures within two years of her decease, and if not, the collection, she chose for it to go to the Med to Medway Historical Society. The, the Menden Historical Society at that time secured this building that we're in now, and the pictures have always remained here with the Menden Historical Society. And it was thanks to Kate Chapin that the Menden Historical Society was able to secure a museum, not only for the pictures and a few records that they had back in 1921, but to save for saving all these artifacts that you have seen throughout this film. And here we have a wall of photographs and paintings of many of the past Menden leading citizens. We have John Metcalf, we have Reverend Aiden Blue, we have Davenport family, and many others. Right. And below the photographs, we have photographs of the class pictures of the Menden High School graduates on their Washington trips. These 
pictures we have from 1928 up to the 1940s, into the 1940s. This large wood cabinet with weights and measures in it was issued by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and made for the town of Menden in 1848. The lower cabinet was altered by someone prior to 1932 unlawfully. The last sealer of weights and measures appointed by the Board of Selectmen in Menden was in 1965. He was Ernest Wood. This cabinet used to be down the town hall, and they moved it here to the museum, and it has been in here ever since. This is one of the paintings we have that was painted by a local artist, Doris Cox. This picture is of Stuart Appleby. He was Menden's first rural mail carrier. And he donated this picture to us in 1993. This is just a sample of some of the things we have in the museum. And if you would be interested in seeing more, we are open from May to September. We have open houses, and we'd be glad to give you a tour. We have hostesses on hand that help and answer any questions. And we are open for research purposes also. The Menden Historical Society and its members would welcome you to visit the many exhibits during its scheduled open houses throughout the spring, summer, and fall. Special openings for research purposes can be arranged by calling Alice Pickering Palladini at 473. Visit the Historical Museum and learn more about Menden's past.